Welcome to our CCPS Science Review Lab. Today we're going to go back to one of my old favorites, and we're going to start off by looking at this image. Now, you may or may not have done and seen this before, depending upon the order in which you've been going through these videos. We're going to start off by talking about the relationship between these two pictures. Now, over here, we've got a pot that we're doing some thermal imaging on. So you can see that the hottest area of the pot is down here on the bottom and that the cooler area is actually up on top. Now, the reason that's occurring is because the heat source is underneath the pot and we've got convection currents moving through the liquid within the pot, warming up all the water. Now we have a very similar process going on here if we look at Earth's interior. Let's remember again the layers of the Earth. We've got the inner core, the outer core, we've got the mantle, and we've got the crust. Within that mantle, we've got those same kind of convection currents going on. Remember, we've got the, our heat source in this case is the heat coming from the core both inner and outer, transferring through and then warming up the mantle material, the magma closest to the outer core. As it gets warmer, it becomes less dense and it rises, moving away from the heat source and cooling down and then sinking back down and it creates these currents. Here's another shot that sort of gives you the same idea. It shows the convection currents within the water, and then it shows the convection currents within the mantle. Now, if we look more closely in this picture, we've placed some wooden blocks on top of the water. And as those convection currents swirl and twirl and bubble, you can see that it pushes the blocks away from each other. And here we have sort of the exact same thing going on. We've got these convection currents moving, albeit much, much slower. And as a result, they're moving the plate, the tectonic plates away from each other. Here we have them at a divergent boundary and those plates are moving away. By the looks of it, I would expect to see some seafloor spreading here and some new crust being created at this separation. Okay, so again, we've got all this plate movement going on as a result of these convection currents within the mantle. Now, this plate movement, we said, can result in new crust. It can also result in earthquakes. We can have volcanoes as a result of these convection currents and ocean basins. So I'm going to give you the opportunity to play with those ideas. If you go down into the details, there is a link that'll take you to a sim just like this, and that will allow you to create different plates and then move those plates based on how the convection currents underneath are occurring in the mantle. So you'll go ahead and you'll play with that. When you're done, I want you to come back because then you need to show me what you know. I want you to take what you've learned and figure out what's happening underground to create the effect seen in this picture. All right, show what you know. Good luck.